Welcome back to Media Mesh, where I give you my unapologetic opinion on everything from music, movies, news, reality, TV, and so much more as we go down a rabbit hole. And listen, I am so glad to be back here. And shout out to all of my subscribers who have been, you know, hanging on with a brother. I got a new video out there with Rick Ross, and I have to turn my attention to a different direction. But, you know, it's still going to be me. Right. So we still going to give you the, the mix up. Now, I've been obsessed with these police videos. Shout out to Body Cam for this one. And I'm getting into it. You know, I'm not going to try to talk too much. Right. But there will be pauses. So I'll place the link in the description box. OK, so if you just want to watch it, you want to listen to me. But if you want to hear my commentary, I think I definitely have something interesting to say about this. But let's get into this one. So this is really crazy. So you have a family that just doesn't get it. And let me just say this as a melanated person, as you can most likely tell by my voice, um, I think there is a time and place for everything. Right. So as much um, as I understand the disdain that a lot of you know people of color have for law enforcement, I get it because there are definitely those instances where they go beyond, you know, the call of duty. Right. And so uh, they have unalived many of us uh, in the community. However, is that the case all the time? No. If you really submerge yourself into these, you know, video, you know, videos of this, right? You'll see that most of them, at least the ones that's on recording, you can't speak for everyone in your local area, right? But for the most part, they do try. So I, I know I'm sound like a sympathizer here, but at the same time, if something pop off, I know I'm calling the law. I'm calling the police, you know? So I'm not going to be one of these people like, oh, uh, never mind. I don't need F the police or that type of stuff. No, no. Some pop off. I'm calling. You understand? And so will you. Right. So it, you don't really need them until you need them. But a lot of times um, as we, and I'm going to do like tons of videos on this, like a whole new section for this, because, again, like I said, I'm like really obsessed with this, but I'm not going to keep you too much longer. But just watch this. Watch and learn, folks. Watch and learn. Balance is everything. And we have to listen to understand. And a lot of times, because so many of us have a preconceived notion of who the police are, even though there's brothers that are on the force, right? They just assume that everybody is evil. That's not the case. Yes, there are definitely those who they push out there for you to see. So, yeah, they definitely push the ones out there that are not doing the right thing. So that you can have this hate and disdain for them. So then when you come in contact with them, it's a negative negative experience, which ultimately ends bad for you. So you got to really think about that. So, yes, you can start off with an attitude, whatever. But whenever they show up to address whatever the situation is, at the end of the day, you're going to be going away. No matter how many times you say I didn't do it. It's not my fault. You don't understand. I know my rights. Um, you know, whatever, whatever the the thoughts that come to your mind in that point in time, it's not going to make a difference. They are not going to stop until you go to jail. They have one job to do. They're not the judge, jury, you know, or the executioner. Well, OK, I know that's questionable, but by and large, that's literally the job. You do something that's against the law. They're going to take you into custody and then you sort that out with the judge. The crazy thing is, if you notice, most of the times when you watch these videos, a lot of these people get the charges dismissed anyway. So you acting a fool for nothing. There's some extremely lenient laws. I mean, well, as far as the charges, when you get to court, like most of this stuff is dropped. So you just got tased, beat down. <laughs> you got your teeth knocked loose. You scratched up, you know, broke arm, all this type of extra stuff. Well, you could just went on down there and you know you're wrong. Right. So, you know, you're wrong. Let's get into it. All right, let's go. You were just on Monroe, man. You were, you were speeding, okay? Oh, speeding. Southbound on Monroe, yep. Before you got to El Dorado, we got you going 53 and a 30, all right? On so a handheld I was, radar. I was on Monroe? Yes, you were. And y'all pulled me over? Because there's a thing called traffic where people are in our way, so it's kind of hard to catch up to you. So, you got your license on you? That's cap. I wasn't going no 53. Well, that's what our handheld radar said. I don't need to see that. Hey, you ain't going to see it. Comes back suspended for a mandatory insurance violation, but he's got good insurance. Okay, so I have to tow the car. 
were not going to take the plates, so. though. Oh, you said what? What do you say? Uh, your plates are sort of suspended for mandatory insurance violation. Oh, that's cap. What do you mean? Wow, I got this out of auction. I got the registration right here for the plates. That's cap. I just showed you the insurance. We'll have to know it. Bro, y'all, that's cap. How? When I just sold you insurance. Hey, Anthony, it's just, it's suspended for a mandatory insurance violation. At some point, they suspended it for the insurance violation. No, they have not. What do you mean? The Secretary of State did. I don't have control on what they do. At some no. point, you must have had a violation for no, it. No, that's cap. What do you mean? I, dude, it's not cap. I'm just telling you what I have in front of my face. Just tell the supervisor to pull up. I'll talk to you. Well, Anthony, give me a minute. Roll down your window so I can explain that part to you, too. Anthony, we're giving you a law order to get out of the car. We don't want to have to make this go any further, but our sergeant's not able to come right now. He's not able to come here right now. How many times I got to say he's not able to come here right now? I'm trying to do this as civil as possible, mm -hmm. but the plates just come back suspended for insurance. We got insurance. This happens from time to time when plates get suspended for insurance, and you can still get insurance on the vehicle, but it, it has never been resolved, okay? The city of Decatur has a lawful use of motor vehicle, basically a fine for this type of situation where we tell the car. We got insurance. It come out every month. There's no way. It's, it's, listen, not it's the, the registration car. plates I've been suspended for insurance at some point and some time. It ain't even been like a month or two months. Okay, that's enough time for where they could have been it's suspended been in the shop. for insurance. No, it's been in the shop. I'm only going through what we have don't in our system. Me. I'm right here. Don't, you ain't got to raise your voice. I'm right here. You said step over here. I don't want him don't to get, get in mad. trouble for anything further. He's basically, now he's obstructing what the process. What you saying, total car, total car for what? For the insurance. It got insurance. On the plates. They were suspended for insurance violation. Never could have. So, uh, I can't reason with anybody. Oh. Crack your window for me, bud. But, uh, so what's the uh, what's the issue? Around, I grab gear. Uh, everything valid. Everything, yeah. everything but your license plate, pal. It, it does make sense, I assure you. It might not make sense to you, but it makes sense to everybody else here. Because y'all trying to finesse. That's why it makes sense to everybody else. Y'all in cahoots. You can either get an interior or you can go to jail. That's your option. If sense. you don't get out of the car, you're going to go to jail. Bro. We've right. gave you uh, it's your oh, hands you several. Get your hands oh, yeah. You've got yeah. something right there. Rock, what I got? Man, get your get out of the car. Get out of the car, man. Get out of the car. hands up. Bro, you ain't got a, I don't got no handcuffs. Got, get your know. hands. Put your hands behind your back. Bro, you oh, get out of the car, Anthony. You step out. Right Y'all some bitches. Keep your hands. Oh. Bro, stop fighting. Bro, stop. 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 You're under arrest. I'm under arrest for, for resisting. I'll have to get in the car. You're under arrest for resisting. Get in the back of the squad car. Y'all last capping, bro. Y'all last capping. You guys, step back. There's a canine now. I don't want anybody getting bit. Go up there and deal with that. Yeah. Step back from the car, man. He's going to run this dog around here. I don't want you getting bit. Chill out what? This is how the That's everyone's so talking. That's how he Because I don't want you. anybody getting bit. What's getting loud? Because you guys don't understand. I do. Uh, I do. You don't. I do. You don't understand. Yes, I do. Because, That's my son. Because he wouldn't follow our directions. What, what the rest was that? This is for, this is for uh, a suspended license, bro. They, they talking how, long, how long were you on scene when they wouldn't get out of the car? They don't have to get out of the car. They yes, yes, they do. Yes, they do. Get in the car. We'll put you in the car. Talking about that with Trenton? Like threatening what? Him. Oh, I mean, he's like, under arrest. He has to get in the car. For resisting. Yeah. What was he under arrest for? Like, right. For resisting. resisting. He was what, going what to get out of the car for 30 minutes. What was the reason for him to resist? What was the initial no, cause of him resisting? So, so it's a traffic stop. Okay. Right. So, he, so the, the traffic stop and resisting. Yes. The traffic stop and the plates are suspended. So, so why did you get the car is resisting to this house? That's fine. And so why did you take your plates and they suspended? And he, I would have put the car in the backyard and we went about the business. Because the car's got to be towed. Why is that? The plates are suspended. Get his phone. Bro, like literally. Where? No, nope, 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 nope. Phone for what? Go to jail. Give me the phone. We're not giving the phone away. Stop. 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 It's not true. That's the pastor. Give me the phone. 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 Give
Give me all the units right now. Give me a camera, you're gonna arrest him for theft right now. What camera? You, I just saw you with this body camera. Give it to me right now. Oh, shit, I thought this was my husband's top phone. Okay. Somebody walk in. Is that his phone? Oh, he had it on the TV. Yeah, he wanted to buy you. Officer, what did I do? Resisting, Anthony. Are you fucking serious? Give me the phone. So that was what the whole fucking fight was for, Brayden. Jesus fucking Christ. Okay, okay. Wow, wow, wow. This is a lot to unpack, people. So, now, this is a lot. Hopefully, you're still here. You know, I did let you guys watch the video without, you know, interrupting. But let's, let's unpack this. So, we see... You know, obviously the police pulled him over. They said he was speeding, doing 53 and whatever, which makes sense, I guess, if you're speeding. And and uh, the brother is like, OK, well, he wants to see that. Now, granted, the cop was a little uh, snarky, a little bit there. That's my new word, snarky. Uh, but at the same time, I guess he's like, listen, it's just so simple for them. And on a side note, a lot of times when we have jobs in any capacity, you just some days you're just over it. I'm not justifying anything. I'm just saying, because I know that's me sometimes. You just be over everything. You ain't trying to hear nothing. But nevertheless, he tells him why he pulls him over. Now, never mind the fact that, you know, I'm sure they did take into account if they did check and see that he did uh, get arrested a year ago for drugs. So that's not good, right? So it's not like he hasn't been in trouble with the law before and and do they use that as a means sometimes when they see things that go on to pull you over possibly did they know that at this point not sure nevertheless what they're explaining is simple the plates are suspended at some point so he does have insurance yes and again he, the, the police are just going off of what is coming back from the secretary of state so at this point, there's nothing that they obviously can do. This is going to be a matter where you're going to have to take it to court and then fight it there. Right. So to get into the back and forth, as I mentioned earlier, you know, this is not the court. This is them pulling you over for an infraction, which is their job, informing you of the situation. Now, he could be right. You know, but clearly the plates are coming back something different. So, of course, they're going to have to tow it. That's just how it is. So he tries to explain it to the mom and she's still stuck on the fact that it has insurance, which is true. It does have insurance, but that's not the issue. The issue is the plates. At what point do they think the police are going to go away? They're not. So to take it to this next level is completely unnecessary. Now, again, he might be right. In fact, I'll just go and say, I believe he probably did put insurance on the vehicle, but that's not the point. So now it escalates to this next level. They eventually have to get him out the car. As you saw, you saw this, you know, and of course, if you do anything, you know, resisting arrest is kind of easy charge to get. You don't really have to do much, to be honest, because he didn't really put up too much of a fight initially. But then now, OK, he's being a little bit difficult trying to hang on to the phone, which, you know, he probably could have just left that in the car because that turns into a bigger issue uh, as we go forward. And, you know, and then we get, you know, to his the dad. You know, I, I understand the dad coming to check on the son, you know, seeing what's going on. Um, but so far, you know, there was nothing crazy. You know, they didn't beat him up. You know, the dad, the pastor, you know, he, he's on the scene. He, he's completely confused. He don't know what's going on at all because uh, he's thinking that maybe they could just, you know, take the plates and put the car in the backyard. And we know that's not realistic at all. That's not going to happen. But 
Of course, he makes matters worse for himself because he takes the phone. And they obviously wanted, since it was in his hand, I guess they're going to take it into custody with them, whatever. Um, I do kind of feel sad, you know, for this part. You know, as you see, um, they are just telling him to basically get about the way. The wife, get everybody just move out the way. Let us do what we got to do. But no, he takes the phone, tosses it to, I guess, his wife. And now we're escalating it to another level here. He does have his hands up, which is good. And boom, that's kind of messed up. That part's messed up. Right. And then he's punching them. Now, all of this, if we think about it, could have been avoided. Right. Because this is your grown son. Now, if you bought this car, however you got this car and those plates messed up, okay, we got the insurance on the car or you got the insurance. Let them do what they got to do. Yes, it's an inconvenience. No, nobody wants their car to be told and taken away, especially if you got it, you put the insurance on it. And in your mind, you're doing everything necessary to do it. But at the same time, the plates are not what they need to be. So all of this stems from a simple traffic violation. Simple. People, we got to really think about what we're doing. Let's not complicate our own lives. Until next time, peace. Be blessed.